Hey soccer players, today's foundation is individual work with passing with the outside of the foot. What I hear from soccer players all the time is, coach, I can't work on passing by myself. I need a team practice or I need a wall. Well, a lot of people don't have fancy walls and rebound situation, things like that. We're gonna show you, and this setup looks a little fancy, but we always do realistic training here at Foundations. You need an agility ladder, if you don't have it, put chalk on the ground or cones, a pug goal, or two pug goals if you have it. We have 50 pug goals off camera, but I made that a cone gate just to show you guys if you don't necessarily have everything, you can find a way. So what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing a front back shuffle through the jilly ladder. Then I'm gonna be passing with the outside of my foot towards the goal. Now, Croatia, who made, made it to the finals of the last World Cup, they have Luka Modric and many other players who are fantastic and they all pass with the outside of their foot all the time, as do many other great players in the world. Why do they pass with their outside of the foot and why do they make it so famous? Because when you pass with the inside of your foot, you turn, you open up your hips, everyone in the whole world knows we're about to pass it and when. With the outside of the foot, you're just sort of running and all of a sudden flick and it's really tough for the defense to react. It's sort of a hidden or disguised pass and it makes you a more deadly and lethal soccer player, especially in that final third going forward. Although defenders can use it as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on the outside of foot passing, where you're really, you're sort of point your tone down and in a little bit. And you're gonna sort of strike it with sort of like the outside of the laces and sort of the top of the foot. So you're coming through and you're making that contact there. So your plant foot is actually forward a lot of times because you're doing that sideways like this, sort of that diagonal motion. So it almost looks like you're kicking the ball, but instead of out, it's at that 45 degree angle. With your toe points laying in, and you're hitting with this nice flat part. So your toes this way, and you sort of just hit it out that way. So what we're gonna do, I have my four soccer balls. If you only have two, use two. If you only have one, get some fitness in. Or maybe you have mom or dad or your brother or sister stand there and toss the ball back. Make sure the ball is a little bit in front of the ladder, because it's behind the ladder when you come through, you're sort of going backwards and you have bad form. So you want it a little bit in front. You want them spaced out so you're not gonna hit each other. We're going to come through the ladder, we're going to hit it with the outside of our foot into the goal. So what we do, I'm going to start in it, my left foot's going to lead going this way, I'm going to do it outside the left foot down there. You go diagonally backwards, so I'm advancing one score to my left while stepping backwards diagonally left. Then my right foot follows, then I go forward, diagonally backwards, left, right, forward, left, right. Diagonally backwards, left, right, forward, left, right. It's better to do this slowly, even if you're just doing this, because if you do it wrong, it doesn't matter how fast you are, you're not getting the best out of it. Then as you go through, also then you get faster. And when you come through, you go through. So once again, now it's my right foot. Diagonally backwards with my right, left follows. Straight forward with my right, left follows. Diagonally backwards with my right, left follows. Forward with my right, left follows. Then when you get it, it's change of pace, change of direction. You're cutting, you're doing all that. Now, let's take this training up a notch. Let's get vision training as well. Already fast feet, already outside the foot passing. You wanna glance at your target before you get there. So, you're in it. Okay, you're going through. When I get about here, I glance, I see my target. I glance, I see my target. No need to glance. I'm looking out at the ball, making good contact. I know where my target is, what great players do. They glance ahead of time. So vision training by yourself as well too. Everyone always says, oh, I need a team. I need 20 people. Just do it like this, vision training. So from this and glance. I hit it with pace, I hit it with power. Game-like. If this is what you do, because I see kids do this all the time, coach, I don't want to miss. So they go, even if that goes in the goal, it's not realistic. That pass is never going to get there, okay? So you go through. We're those two, three steps out. I look, okay, i through, maybe I look again. Now I can look, focus, and everyone goes, wow, how do you see that pass? You're winning. Great vision, you already saw it. Now, just for the camera, we wanna make it look pretty. So make sure you guys get a good view and actually can see what we're doing. I'm gonna take four cones. So this whole thing, a dilly ladder, one pug goal, six cones, or two pug goals and four cones. So I'm gonna put this sort of signal where I'm gonna start from, on the outside of the ladder. I'm gonna bring the pug goal 
about five steps up. One, two, three, four, five, and over a little bit. Make sure you slant it. Okay, oh, probably need to slide over a little bit. I'm gonna make sure you have a little bit of an angle because outside the foot pass, you're gonna an angle pass. And look at this cone set up, almost like I did it on purpose. Maybe I adjust it a little bit. Now I have four soccer balls. If you only have two soccer balls, use two. If you only have one, use one. Maybe you can get someone to help you, or if not, just run and get some fitness in. Now, game-like, we did vision. We done outside the foot. Let's work on dribbling correctly. Remember, we dribble with the outside of the laces. Ooh, do you see now why outside the foot passing is so sneaky? If you're already running like this to make a pass, you just flick it. No one sees it coming because you use the same part of your foot to dribble with as you do for the outside of foot pass. That's why it's such a disguised pass. So we're gonna dribble correctly, we're gonna get our head up, and we're gonna make an outside of foot pass. So I'm going here, I'm looking at the ball, I glance up, I look back down, on the deck, through, I already glance. Now I wanna run back, left foot now, good fitness, right, glance. Whew. Already glance, look back down, you wanna run back, Okay, I glanced, I glanced again, on the deck, I get around, I'm glancing, I'm looking at the ball, I'm glancing, whoo, almost missed that one, wasn't the best hit, why? The ball was a little bit underneath my foot, I needed to get it out in front of me a little bit, because a little underneath my foot, I flubbed it a little bit, yeah, yeah, I went in the pug goal, but it still wasn't quite good enough to the standards that I wanted. Dribbling, vision, Agility, outside the foot passing, all with a couple cones, the pug goals, and train by yourself. You do this drill for about three minutes, all training feet. Go get the balls after you miss or after you make it. If you have two pug goals, even better, you don't have to run and chase them. Do that for about three minutes. So you do the ladder, you do the dribbling, you do this. You're gonna have fun, you're gonna get better, you're gonna be a better soccer player, you're gonna have that dangerous outside the foot pass add to your arsenal. Do all this, have fun and get better. So much so, I think I even just said it twice.